Hey y'all, in this video, I'm going to be cleaning my Cartier jewelry. Basically seeing if these hacks that I have, recommended to me by a couple of y'all, actually work. So basically I have the Just One Clue and the Love Ring and full transparency, I'm get rid of these. I'm gonna sell them, I do want the smaller ones, but I'm not in a hurry necessarily to buy them. I'm gonna see what else is out there as far as rings to stack and then decide. I'm just kind of tired of bigger sizes, but I do want to get them cleaned or clean them up before I sell them, possibly get more for them. And you see the scratches on the love ring particularly. So I have a couple of hacks that people recommended to me. One of them was to use like this polisher cloth that I got from Amazon. So I've ordered the cloth. I have it in, so I'm gonna try it on camera to see if it actually works. I was told by multiple people that it works. And then I had another recommendation. I bought it and I totally forgot what it was. I need to go on Amazon and look through my orders. It's kind of sad. I placed too many orders on there. That's why I forgot. I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna try out a little polishing cloth first to see if it works. Thank you to whoever recommended me this trick because I'm gonna try it on camera and see if it actually works. Yeah, let's do this together, shall we? So I have my two Cartier rings here. I have my love ring. Both of these are the regular size, obviously. That's, those are the two I own. And then this is the Just On Clue. I have my cloth. I'll link this down below. I got it from Amazon and it was a recommendation from a subscriber. It's a two-sided cloth or like a, a sewn together double cloth. And as you see, this is the polishing cloth. And then you rub, it has the instructions on there, which is nice. It cleans gold nickel jewelry silverware. Make sure your jewels are dry. You rub the surface with the rouge polisher. So that's this side. And then brighten with the outer cloth. Do not wash the polishing cloth. And you can use it until it's worn to shreds. This wasn't that expensive either, which is nice. So start with the rouge side. I guess whether you use the inside or this side doesn't really matter. So I guess I'll use the interior. I don't know. But as you see, I'm gonna start with the love ring. My love ring is pretty scratched. I don't know if you can see that, but it's pretty scratched up. All right, I'm really sorry for who had to see that. I did put a bandaid on. I had no idea it was even there until I saw it on camera. I'm so sorry. I still don't know what happened to my finger. <laughs> but let's continue polishing, polishing the ring. This is gonna go all the way around it and just stop freaking out about it because it seemed to not damage the first little portion I did. So I'm gonna continue it all the way around the perimeter. Okay, so already, oh my God. It, I don't know if y'all can see, it's way shinier than it was before. And it did seem to remove a lot of the scratches. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna do some spot uh, removals in between where I noticed those deeper scratches. Wow. So I'm just gonna quickly compare it to my other ring. I know it's two different rings, but this one is way shinier than the other one. Okay, so now I think I've removed most of the surface scratches. I don't think anything else is gonna disappear off of here. So I have my polishing kit that I got from Cartier or my cleaning kit rather has a brush in here and has some liquid solution. I'm just gonna use what came with this. I totally should have done this before, but I kind of forgot. <laughs> also, the red does transfer on your fingers too, so just be aware of that. Okay, so I'm spreading out the cloth that came in my cleaning kit and I have my ring here. I'm just gonna spray it with some of this solution. Let's see. And as you see, it does kind of lather. And then I'm gonna take that brush and then just brush in between each little groove. Y'all know the love ring does have those little grooves. Let's see, is that doing anything? Seems like it is. I don't think I've done this since I've owned these, which is quite gross. <laughs> I tend to wash them when I wash my hands, but I've never gone into the grooves. All right, I think that's as good as I'm gonna get it. So, I have my dirty brush now that has the red all over it from where I polished. But I'm gonna take that same cloth and just, oh, it's a mess. I totally shouldn't have done this, oh well. I'm gonna go around it and make sure it's dry. 
because I think I'm gonna go repolish. It's probably a bad idea. Let me see if I need to. I don't think I need to. I might need to. Okay, so the grooves are way cleaner now than they were, kind of. I still kind of have things stuck in there, so. I don't know, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get this stuff out. It's kind of, oh, it's coming out now. So rather than sitting there scrub it, you kind of have to dig the bristles in there slowly to get the stuff out. So I'm gonna have to clean this cloth, that's disgusting. I might just rinse it in water and see if that works. Okay, so just dry this off. All right, my grooves are clean now. So it's nice and dry. I'm gonna go back in lightly with my polishing cloth. Again, this is probably a terrible idea because I've done this already, but I mean, I'm gonna do it anyway, just lightly. Just to replenish that shine I just scrubbed away. All right, so we got it back nice and shiny. Hopefully y'all can see that. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Just how shiny it is. Look how it shines, look how it shines. Oh. Okay, now I'm gonna go with this side. Brighten. So this is supposed to make it even brighter. I can't even imagine. So, let's see. Wow. This makes me wanna keep these rings now. Look how bright that is now. Oh my God, it's just like when I bought it. This is what sold me when I first bought it. Wow. It absolutely works. Just to compare it to one I haven't done yet. Like, I really hope y'all can see. This is way shinier than this. Let me just put them on my finger so you can see. So that's that one. I'm gonna put it on my Cartier cloth, my cleaning cloth over here, just so it stays like that. And for the just on clue, there's really not anything that needs like cleaning with a brush per se. There's no grooves or anything except these, but I don't really see anything in those. So I'm gonna move straight on to polishing with the cloth. Now the just on clues y'all know doesn't scratch. It's nearly as easy as the love bracelet or the love ring or the love things <laughs> in general. So the only real scratches that shows up is this flat end of the nail right there. And this shouldn't take long to polish at all. All right, already huge improvement from before. I'm gonna go ahead and do this one to brighten. Man, I wanna keep these rings now. <laughs> I seriously do. But I want the smaller versions. All right, this one's now done. Oh my gosh, absolutely beautiful. My fingers are swollen now, I'm pregnant, so. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on a smaller finger now. So look at that, look at those. Oh yes. Okay. Nice and shiny. Move that band-aid out of the way. Oh my gosh, look. I'm sorry, I'm just obsessed with how this looks. So this absolutely worked. And thank you to whoever recommended this cloth. Very affordable and a lot more convenient than going to Cartier. Even though it's not that far away from me, you know, sometimes you want something that you can have to do yourself. Now, I don't know how often you can do this. I don't know if it will ruin the layers. If you do it too often, that's what I'm not sure of. So I would do it, you know, not necessarily as needed, but um, not too often, just so you don't ruin anything. I need to look into that just to see how often I can do this. And even possibly calling Cartier, even though they might not tell you, y'all know how bougie and stuck up they could be with answering questions when it, when it comes to doing things outside of their store and you know, all designer stores and like that. But yeah, it absolutely worked. They're nice and shiny. It removed most of the surface scratches and I'm very impressed with this little cloth that came from Amazon. And you can use it over and over again. It does stain your fingers, so beware of that when touching things. Just make sure you wash your hands afterwards. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any recommendations on what I could get. I don't want anything on this stick anymore. I want thinner things at this point. I want something a little more dainty. 
to stack on this finger. So if you have any recommendations, doesn't have to be a Cartier, Van Cleef, anything like that. It could be just a regular fine jewelry brand. I do want fine jewelry. I don't want anything that will tarnish or anything like that. So something good and unique, if you know me, just leave in the comments any recommendations. I'll leave another video here in case you missed it. Talk soon. Thanks for watching.